Hi there. Now, I think this is quite a tricky question, but uh, certainly would encourage you to have a go at it. We're given that 2 cos of x plus 50 degrees is equal to the sine of x plus 40 degrees. And we've got to show that without using a calculator, that tan x degrees is equal to one third of tan of 40 degrees for four marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video. And when you come back, I'll go slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So I'm just going to write down what we're given first of all. We've got 2 times the cosine then of x plus 50 degrees. And that's equal to the sine then of x plus 40 degrees. Now we're going to need to expand these two brackets. And we should be familiar with this because these are well-known identities. Often the cosine of a plus b and the sine of a plus b. These identities, which you can generally find in your formula book, are given as cosine of a plus b is identical to cos a cos b minus sine a sine b, and the sine of a plus b is identical to sine a cos b plus sine b cos a. So using these, we'll just expand our brackets. We've got 2 then multiplied by the cosine of x times the cosine of 50. And these are both given in degrees, OK? And then it's going to be minus the sine of x degrees and the sine of 50 degrees there. And let's just close that bracket off. And when it comes to the right hand side here, expanding this, it's going to be the sine of x degrees times the cosine of 40 degrees and then plus the sine of 40 degrees multiplied by the cosine of x degrees. So quite a lot there. Next, I'll expand the bracket here and we're going to then have 2 cosine of x degrees cosine of 50 degrees minus 2 sine x degrees times sine of 50 degrees and then this is equal to sine x degrees cosine of 40 degrees plus the sine of 40 degrees and then the cosine of x degrees. Now this is the uh, next bit which I think is a bit tricky. You've got to be able to look at your answer here and you'll notice that the only angle we're dealing with is 40 degrees and yet we have got 50 degrees in here. And I kind of get a sense from this that 50 degrees and 40 degrees, if you add them up, give us 90 degrees. And so working off that principle, okay, it tells me that I can use this fact that the cosine of 50 degrees, we can convert this to the sine of 40 degrees. It's exactly the same as the sine of 40 degrees. And the sine of 50 degrees, well, that's exactly the same as the cosine of 40 degrees. Why is this? Well, it's easy to see from a triangle. It's just one of many ways of showing it. OK, if I had a right angle triangle and say this angle in here was 50 degrees, then this one has to be 40 degrees. So it adds up to 180 degrees. So that when it comes to looking at the cosine of 50 degrees, cosine compares the adjacent with the hypotenuse that side with that side, you'll notice it's the same as the sine of 40 degrees, which does the opposite over the hypotenuse. So I'll be comparing exactly the same two sides for that trig ratio. And the same argument holds when you look at sine of 50 degrees equaling the cosine of 40 degrees. So this is something that is 
quite important to this question. Well, not quite important, very important actually. And that's what I would be thinking about, okay? So if I now change the trig functions that have got 50 degrees in them to the equivalent ones with 40 degrees in, we'll see what happens, okay? Let's just uh, put this down here. We've got 2 cos x then, 2 cosine of x degrees. Now instead of cosine of 50 degrees then, I'm going to write sine 40 degrees. So this is now converting it into the angle of 40 degrees. When I come on to the second term here, we've got minus 2 sine of x degrees, but in place of sine 50 degrees, I'm going to write that as the cosine of 40 degrees. So we've got cosine of 40 degrees there. On the right hand side, it's just a question of copying this out because everything's in the angle of 40 degrees. So we've now got plus the sine of 40 degrees and cosine of x degrees. Now because I'm going to work towards getting tangents, okay, tan is the result of sine x over cos x for an angle. So, for instance, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, first of all, divide by cosine of x. Now, if I go through and divide by cosine of x, that is going to cancel out to a 1 there. Here we're going to have sine x divided by cos x in this term here, which is going to give me tan x degrees. For this term, when I divide through by cosine of x, I'm going to get sine x over cos x. So that's going to result in tan of x degrees. And for this last term here, dividing through by cos x, that's just going to cancel out to 1. I'm also going to divide through by the cosine of 40 degrees. Okay, And so if we now go through our four terms again. For this term, dividing by cosine of 40 degrees, we've got sine 40 degrees over cosine 40 degrees. That's going to be tan of 40 degrees. For this one here, cosine of 40 over cosine of 40 degrees, it's just going to cancel out, giving us 1. For this one, same again, it's going to cancel out to be 1. And for this one, sine 40 over cosine 40 is tan of 40 degrees. So hopefully you can see that we're getting very close now to the answer because we've got now 2 tan of 40 degrees and if I now take away tan 40 degrees on this side I'm just left with tan of 40 degrees. And if I add minus 2 tan x to both sides then I've got the tan x here plus another 2 tan x well, that's going to be equal to 3 tan of x degrees. So finally, dividing both sides by 3 just gives me tan of x degrees equals one third of the tan of 40 degrees. So I think that's quite tricky. It's got several concepts in there. It's quite long as well. But uh, if you did it and managed to get that answer, I think, uh, well done, okay?